My name is Mr. Simon Ugu Ote, the managing the manager of EcoBridge Nigeria Limited, representing the MD of the company. His name is Chimizante Madoka. But basically, tire lasts at least five years before it will expire. For instance, if tire has been produced 2018, for instance, it will take about five years before we talk of expiring date. But tire doesn't have a specific expiring date written on that particular tire. What the tire normally um, you will see on the tire, written the date you see on the tire is the production date. And that production date will last for five years before the tire will expire. So people have been having a kind of misconception that uh, maybe, for instance, 2018, 2017 tire is not uh, good. 2017, 2018, even 2016 is still very okay. Because the last part of the tire lasts for five years. So whoever is using 2017 tires is still using good tires and has no risk. My advice to the customer, the prospective customer, <coughs> I should advise them on the way they use the tire first before I will tell them much about the date. Now, one important thing about tire I want uh, the end user should know. There's something we call a PSI. That what affect that most that people don't know. The PSI, the PSI is the pressure of which the tire can carry. Now, for instance, if you want to pump your tire now, so we will go to roadside. And those roadside, uh, for now, don't even know about any PSI. They just pump it 50. Why some tires might not even up to 50? If you check, that, if you check any tire you are using, there's a particular number written there. Some is 36, some is 40, some 50. Depending on the type of the tire you are buying, and depending on the product. So you check the PSI first. That first side will determine the level you pump it. For instance, if you pump the tire of 36 up to 40, that tire will not have a space. And when that tire is moving, when you hit pothole, it will not expand, it will not be able to bounce again because it will become stiff. Because you pump it beyond the level of that pressure it will carry. And that is why in most cases, when those people that buy tire from us, when they buy tire even to turn, 18, 2017 or 2019, the current date, they have probably begin to complete like because of the date. It's not a date. As far as I buy within that five years, it's still okay. So what I would advise them is to check the PSI. Any time they want to pump that for you, check the PSI. As if you not to check the PSI before they pump it. I was saying, as we got to the PSI, as I explained, I said, if you want to pump your tire, make sure you ask the functionary to check the PSI. That PSI will tell you the pressure which you pump the tire. For instance, if the tire may be carried 36 as the level which can pump the tire and you pump it 40, the standards that that tire will have problem. Because if you are moving on the road, the moment that tire hits pothole, it will become stiff. Instead of that tire to bounce, it will not burst. Why? Because you pump it above the PSI. So even if you buy today's tire, maybe the tire being produced today, let's do that on the 19th, this, uh, today's date, and you pump it above the PSI, it will have a problem. So that is not the, it's not the fault of the date of the tire. So the issue of saying that uh, people should not use the 2008 or 2017 is totally wrong. I want to disabuse people's mind from that, that 2017, 2018, 2019, even 2016 is still very okay. Most of the road safety, they don't even know much about tires. It sounds funny when they will <laughs> arrest somebody that's using 2017 tires. Meanwhile, what they have been using, sometimes we go beyond that, go below that. So I would advise them that they should learn more about tires so that they will stop harassing innocent citizens. For instance, if anybody is using 2017 tires, road safety has no right to arrest that person because the production date State 2017, and that tire will last for five years before we talk of expiring date. So I would advise them that they should learn more about the the tire itself before they will now arrest the innocent uh, citizen. Uh, like I said, that PSI is more important because uh, most people, especially the engines, I don't know much about this uh, PSI, which is very very important. Even if you are buying machinery, which the is the, the most, uh, let me say, although Mechelin just, just name, 
but people assume that Michelin is the best tire. So if you buy Michelin today and you pump above the PSI, the standards are to still a problem. So the, the, the main reason, I, the, the, the main advice I would tell them is to, they should stick to that PSI. If they stick to that PSI, there will not be a problem with tires. The main product we sell in our, in our company here, Echo Business Limited, basically have Mass Trek, which is our brand name, Antres 3A Double King. Then we have some Bristone, then Compassa. But our brand, the brand uh, product is Mastrek and Press and 3A. NYC Nigeria is from this company. And they're affordable and very good because it satisfies Sun. Sun has given us a discreet. And we cannot report, report based on the standard of uh, Sun. So our, good, our tires are very, very good compared to other tires they say in market here. It's one of the best tires. Yes. If you buy any tire, check the body of that tire. It's boldly written beside where the sizes are written there. So you see the PXI there. They'll write the number beside it. Either 36.